Welcome to EF Pod English, brought to you by EF Education First and English Town. Learn anytime, anywhere. Pod English Upper Intermediate Seventy Computers. This is the new computer. Today, you will be learning about computer and internet-related terminology. Oh. oh, it always happened. Make note of what kind of language is used to explain how to find something on the internet. We're now going to watch a movie about someone teaching her friend how to use the internet. Jane, I want to find the weather forecast for tomorrow. What do I need to do? First, you need to be connected to the internet. Oh, right. So I use the mouse to click on this icon here on the desktop, right? Yes. And then wait while the computer dials up. Why is it taking so long? Because our modem only works at 64K. Oh. If you want a faster connection, we'll have to upgrade. Okay. Now I've connected. What do I do next? Choose a search engine from your list of favorites okay. and type in some keywords. How about weather forecast Chicago? That should do. Now click on search. Okay. Right. Now I have a menu of different sites. Good. Click on the link that seems most helpful. Oh, this one's good. It has a satellite map, but it looks like it's going to rain. I think I'm gonna bring all of them. Now, let's take a closer look at the language they used. Jane is giving Kristen directions on how to find the weather forecast online. And she takes Kristen through the process step by step. Woo. She starts by saying, You need to be connected to the internet. The internet is a worldwide digital network that links smaller networks of computers, such as in schools, organizations and governments, and individual computers, such as your own PC, allowing information to be shared. Once the internet is running, Jane says to Kristen, Choose a search engine from your list of favorites and type in some keywords. A search engine is a program used to help search information on the internet. Oh, I receive an email. Spam is any kind of mail that you don't want. Spam is also called junk mail. Uh, it's, it's, it's a spam email. There are, you know, bad guys and, and they send many emails. And um, I don't know, it's, it's, they want me to send them Two million dollars. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. Now I want you to give me the terms that fit my descriptions of these things related to the internet. What is the name for a software program that lets a user view websites on the internet? That would be a web browser, or just browser. What kind of program can let you look for information on the internet? Jane tells Kristen to choose one from the list of favorites on her computer. Oof. That would be a search engine. And finally, what do we call junk email that nobody wants? That's right, we call it spam. Companies can spam people with unwanted advertisements. Well done. Today we've talked about terminology related to computers and internet. Some new terms that we've learned today are web browser, search engine, spam, New terms are created all the time, 
but hopefully now you understand a bit more. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye-bye.